But I also want to speak a little bit to some of the things I've heard and learned at the CFDA in, in the years that I've been working with Sarah and her team too, which is a lot of small, medium enterprise or medium sized brands will say, how do I, how do I approach this? Because, because I'm a small brand, I don't have a huge supply chain. I don't have the um, leverage that, you know, Walmart and Target and Gap you're talking about have, you know, is there anything for me to do? And I think now in a current COVID-19 and soon maybe post COVID-19 environment where sustainability budgets may be restricted, restricted. you may have been 100% FTE working on sustainability and now to keep your job, you're going to 50% sustainability and 50% some other thing. And so resources and human capital is, is at a premium right now. And the answer, I think, to that question, too, is plug in, plug into the SAC, plug into the uh, CFDA, because we're doing this in consortiums. We're doing this as groups. And if you are looking at the impact of your supply chain or you want to know it, there's a good chance you're sharing that with a larger player who is doing the analysis, who is pushing the facility environmental module FEM out there, who's working with AII on identifying and benchmarking certain facilities. And I think if, if there's anything I, I hope to get across today, it's sort of the collective action, like let's all do this together. So if you're listening and you're thinking I'm a small brand, but I wanna plug into this, there's a, there's a great way in which you can work alongside some of the larger brands that are helping to do the heavy lifting. And I think potentially as we start to look at, you know, the, the top brands may drive the largest concentration of the supply chain from a, from a capacity standpoint, we talk about sort of the 80, 20, and it depends on like 80% of the volume coming from 20% of the producers, or you can flip that and also say we have this 80% long tail of small manufacturers that we have a hard time identifying. But plugging into those two work streams, I think is a way in which, you know, brands can really get started um, and, and kind of leverage the work that's happening alongside them.